Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the polyhedrons. The word polyhedron comes from a Latin word poly, meaning many, and edro faces. So its name tells that polyhedrons have many faces. Polyhedrons are geometric bodies formed by several polygons. They have volume that is the occupied space in three dimensions, width, length, and height. A very important thing that you also have to know about the polyhedrons is that they are formed by three different elements, faces, vertices, and edges. Observe this food box and we will go discovering the three elements. As you can see, this food box is a polyhedron formed by quadrilaterals, which are polygons with four sides. Well, bases are the polygons that make up the polyhedron, the edges are the sides of the faces, and the vertices are the points with three or more faces. Now, observe this cube. How many faces have you seen? If your answer is 6, then you're right. How about the vertices? You're right, it's 8. And the edges? It's 12. Now, have you noticed a relation between these three parameters of a straight face solid? There is. Because if we add its number of faces to its number of vertices, then subtract the number of edges, we get one special number. And that number is 2. This phenomenon is called Euler's formula of polyhedron, which was first observed by Leonhard Euler. Before we continue our discussion in Euler's formula, let's first discuss Euler. The great mathematician Euler was born on April 15, 1707 in Basel, Switzerland. He studied at the University of Basel and earned his master during his teens. And a fun fact, right after he returned to Russia, he served in the Navy before he became a professor of physics and later mathematics division at St. Petersburg Academy. He was considered to be a revolutionary thinker in the fields of geometry, trigonometry, calculus, differential equation, number theory, and notational system, including the utilization of pi and f of x, among a legion of other accomplishments. Now that we know few things about Euler, let's go back to our discussion. Do you remember what Euler's formula is? Euler's formula is V minus E plus F equals 2, where V stands for vertices, E stands for edges, and F stands for faces. Let's help and give triangular prism a try. Let's identify how many vertices a triangular prism has. If we got 6, it's correct since it has 3 vertices on both sides. Now, how many edges does a triangular prism have? Triangular prism has 3 edges at the front face, 3 at the middle, and 3 at the back face, a total of 9 edges. Lastly, how many faces do you recognize? Well, it has 2 faces at the end and 3 faces in the middle, so if your answer is 5, it's correct. By conducting the Euler's formula, 6 minus 9 plus 5 the answer is 2. That's Euler's formula. Vertices minus edges plus faces will always give us a 2 as an answer. If you look around us, there are many polyhedrons. We are surrounded by them. Don't you think? Goodbye, friends!